Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to the Shadowlands beta test. When we left off, we had just escaped the Maw, and I don't think we're 100% sure at this point of what happened to the characters who were with us, namely Jaina, Thrall, Bane, Anduin, Mograine, and his Death Knights. I think that they're still in the Maw. Obviously there might have been a cutscene that we would have got. Had this not been beta, that might have explained that, but we have escaped the Maw, and we are in Ouroboros. Order shall be An honest. agent of the Maw is attacking Oribos! Defend the Arbiter! Hold, the Maw's power does linger upon them, but I sense... No, that cannot be possible. I'm hoping we can find somewhere to repair our gear soon. Stranger in an even stranger land. You arrive alone at the precipice of a strange city, knowing the leaders of Azeroth remain trapped in the Maw. Wherever you are, it is clearly very, very far from home. It appears your arrival has been noticed. Find your way inside Ouroboros to learn what is happening. What do you seek? All souls have their place. We must bring them to the Overseers at once. He keeps saying them and they. Is he just trying to use that in a, in a singular way? Because there's, there's nobody else with us. It just said everyone else was left in the Maw. I can't really read these when they're overlapping. It must be the purpose. It guides us always. Did they just escape the Maw? We did. The oh, reports from our oh. scryers were unmistakable. The Maw shuddered for a moment, as if reacting to some change. An ill omen to be certain. What can it mean? Overseers, this stranger appeared at the city's edge. I believe them to be... A living mortal. Another unexpected development. We shall see to their reception. All right, Overseer Ka Delen. Will of the Arbiter welcomes you. Are you in charge here? Where am I? We all have a part to play. Impossible. Every soul has its place. Could it be an actual mortal being in the Eternal City? The purpose be served. A living mortal. Incredible. Forgive my astonishment. I am Ka Delen, an overseer of the Arbiter's attendance here in the Eternal City of Ouroboros. You stand within the heart of the Shadowlands. While we are accustomed to receiving souls from all manner of worlds within the mortal realm, never before has one arrived that is quite so corporeal. Answer honestly, mortal. Did you truly escape the Maw? The Eternal City must endure. I mean, to be fair, we didn't really see what happened. We used the Portal Stone. So, we must have escaped. Every attendant in Ouroboros is taught that the Maw is unbreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prism is weakening. If true, the banished one could... Cardelen! Karsher! Herbis be praised! At long last, the Arbiter has stirred! Wondrous news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the moor. Then this mortal appeared, claiming to have broken free of it. A living mortal? Surely their presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they are the key to waking her. Is this mortal worthy of such an audience? 
They may prove to be an agent of the Jailer. It is the Arbiter's place to judge souls, Kasher, not ours. I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. I'm interested to know what these guys do in their downtime. Blessed be her voice. Or are they just standing around waiting for intruders? Uh, they don't judge souls, so I wonder what their job actually is. They are the will of the Arbiter, and Talinara is the honored voice. I speak for the one who is silent. Hmm. Finally, the purpose may be guiding us again. I am Talinara, honored voice of the Arbiter. I speak for she who is ever silent. The Arbiter watches over Ouroboros. She blesses us with her wisdom. Every mortal soul that enters the Shadowlands passes before her for judgment. In the merest fraction of a moment, she sees every glory, every folly, every joy, every regret. With this knowledge, she chooses an ideal afterlife for that soul. At least, she did. Not long ago, catastrophe struck and... Come, some things are better seen than explained. Blessed be her voice. Uh, I will join you. I pray the Arbiter will awaken in your presence, mortal. Of course, why wouldn't they? She, it, they, them. Let's see. Come forth and be judged. Look at this place. All right. One day, she, she is unchanged, ever silent, ever still. When you arrived in Oribos. I saw the Arbiter stir for the first time in many cycles. It gave me hope that she would awaken and resume her blessed purpose. Mere words cannot describe the glory that was. Step forward, that I may show you. There could have been a cutscene there. We kind of lagged a little bit, and then we're back. That was a little strange. Maybe what we just have to talk to be? her again. Yeah, she said she would show us, but then it didn't really show us anything. I'm assuming maybe there would be a cutscene there. Until we speak again. Speak, mortal. The Arbiter sees all things. It is disappointing that you were unable to stir the Arbiter, but we must not give up hope. Your continued presence in the Shadowlands may help our cause. Perhaps your efforts would benefit from creating a tether to the mortal plane. The map table in this chamber was put in place long ago by the First Ones, the wise architects of all you see. If you have a memento from your homeworld, place it there. The table's magic can establish a connection. Affix the Helm of Domination Fragment to the Council. A tether to the mortal plane. I would have thought maybe our Heart of Azeroth would have been our tether to the mortal plane because it's the heart of our planet and holds a lot of energy from our planet, soul. It's fine. The Helm of Domination it is. Blessed be her voice. Fate guides your hand. He looks so awesome. More outsiders. What have you done, mortal? 
Be at ease. I am Bovar Fordrag. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they found a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can aid us. So all Death Knights are tangentially agents of the Maw because of how they're created by use of the artifacts which originated from the Maw. That's interesting. I will aid you as best I can. Lyrin, I am relieved you survived that realm of darkness. I am eager to hear the tale. A doorway through the veil. The helm fragment connected us while you were in the maw. As if through a darkened pane of glass, I saw glimpses of what you endured, the terrors you faced. At least the heroes of Azeroth yet live. They must be saved. By affixing the helm here, you, you gave us a tether to Azeroth that served to bring a few of us across the veil. But you and other heroes who join us require a stronger connection. Our acolytes can open portals back. No doubt these attendants will be particularly about their placement, or will be particular about their placement. Establish portals back to Azeroth. Fight well, that, that happens Azeroth. rather fast, doesn't it? You I... seek to open a doorway back to the realm of the living? Oh dear. The chains All of us is crowded enough with so many brokers us. arriving every day. Now, now, Karshair, be hospitable. The brokers. Mortal, I suggest establishing your portals where you first arrived. Just outside the city. As you wish. Champion, please confirm where our acolytes should open the portals. Yes, yes, let's get these portals opened. Our master's will be done! Suffer well! So the brokers are some kind of race that can travel between worlds or panes of existence. I think one of them walked by us when we first came inside here. Oh, there's a repair over here. Let's go see if we can repair. These guys will probably wait for us. If not, we'll break the quest. <laughs> see what happens then. Oh, this is somebody's mount. That, that'll work too. We just need a quick repair. I have many lucky dudes you like. Ooh, well, listen to the music. The just have a look around. So it's circular. That's good. And there are higher levels and lower levels that we can explore. And I think this is the teleportation pad that would bring us uh, up a level. But we will investigate that when it calls for it. I wonder what these are trying to tell us, these icons above the doorways. This one's a scroll, this one's a hammer. The one over there is a gear. Maybe different things we can find in those areas? What's over here? Let's see. Shield of the Arbiter, mining, trade supplies, blacksmithing. Okay. Inscription. So we can find all the trainers and whatnot back in this area. I'd like to grab herbalism and alchemy. Here we go. I live to serve. So these things, Walker. these are the brokers. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can see that they are some kind of energy-based being. They they remind me of the ethereals a little bit. Shadowlands herbalism. Well, we need regular herbalism first, apparently. Can we not do this now? Oh wait, do I already have professions? I guess that's the. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to drop mining and jewel crafting. And we're going to pick up herbalism and alchemy. Because I want to test that out a little bit. Always a pleasure. May I tempt you with my wares? You struck a hard bargain. Good show. Huh. 
How may I assist? Well, we need some vials. Rune etched vials, to be precise. Oh, cool, we could buy by the stack. Okay, perfect. That should be good. And they actually stack higher than 20. Death is the ultimate transaction. Which is lovely. It's lovely um, coming from playing classic, especially. All right, let's get a move on here. I wonder if I have my loop music on. I definitely want to hear as much of the music as we can. Okay, good. And let me know about the sound, guys. If something is too loud or too quiet, let me know and I will make adjustments to it. Get on with it! Tomorrow Summon the portals here. Day. I have opened countless portals in my lifetime. Really? But never one that connected two planes of reality. I thought death was the end of existence. Here, it seems. Death is a power that offers new beginnings. Alright, so our portals are up. You need something? What? We can't use them yet. Apparently, but we don't really need to. There's work to be done. Oh, we can mount up here. <laughs> At least on the outside part we can. I don't think it's going to let us run it through here, but it, it may. We saw other people on their mounts. For some reason it's such an indoor place that I wasn't even thinking about pulling out the mount. It really seemed like a place that we had to be on foot, and I'm just totally ignoring all the people running around on their mammoth. We might pull out a different mount. <laughs> I have been instructed to assist you. You should become familiar with the Eternal City and how best to navigate it. We, the Attendants, serve Orbos as its caretakers. Everything you see here is done in service of the purpose. In this time of chaos and drought, we must adapt our perspective. It seems we are to serve the purpose in a new way. You mortals are not the only visitors here, others have come as well. Like you, the brokers are not of Orbos. They are congenial and willing to aid you, usually for a price. Tour the Eternal City of Orbos. Please keep our corridors tidy. And I'm assuming it just wants us to run around to different parts of the map here and get a sense for where everything is at. We can definitely do that. Let's pull out a less conspicuous mount though, shall we? Okay, and maybe it is only in the center ring area that we can mount up. See, we can't mount up over here. That's like a weird distinction. Oh well. Yeah, see, there are areas where it is gonna dismount us. It is clear you deserve only the best. This is where we established an artisan's hall. For your benefit, of course, we brokers travel extensively and learn from the denizens of every realm we visit. This allows us to cater our offerings to the needs of our clientele. Our members have endeavored to master the various professions in which your kind seem to place value. You will find them eager to aid you in your development as an artisan. Okay, so Fortune we and wealth already figured that out on our own, that we could train professions over here. The purpose reveals our way. Here you will find that the brokers have established a means for you to access your personal belongings. What was the word they used? A bank, I believe. I will admit that the concept of possession is alien to us, but the brokers have always maintained that they are experts on such things. Trust in the Arbiter. Should we really be trusting these brokers? They just show up mysteriously, and their only purpose seems to be to provide us with a bunch of very useful things for a cost. 
Is it safe to believe that the cost is only going to be monetary, or is there going to be some hidden cost somewhere down the way for trusting these guys? Ah, an innkeeper. You have my undivided attention. Come back if you need anything. We can go ahead and definitely do that. Set our hearth. Um, well, maybe we didn't need to come down. Maybe we did. Nope, it's back up. So, again, multiple levels. Should make finding things interesting. Apparently we have to go out and around. Let's just go out here first, then. Greetings, mortal. This is a touchstone for spirits that have become untethered. The Fate Scribe seems to ponder you for a moment. I sense the touch of a great power upon you. Despite facing the end of your existence time and again, this force has kept you anchored to the mortal plane. Perhaps devices like this one will keep you anchored to the Shadowlands, should an ill fate befall you. The purpose will decide. The purpose is our way. May you find your fate. So they're referring to all those times that we die in game and get resurrected as a spirit and run back to our bodies. I like how they work that in. And so we're going to have a similar thing, obviously, that happens when we die here in the Shadowlands. And that's their way of explaining why that's actually able to happen. Is that the device keeps us tethered to the Shadowlands even when we die. Giving us a chance, like always, to run back to our body. They've collected some odd specimens over here. It would be my pleasure to help you. You honor me with your attention. Tell me what you need, my friend. It would be my pleasure Let's see if they say anything you. creepy when they get annoyed. I live to serve, more Walker. Why go for broke when you can go for a broker? <laughs> it is clear you deserve only the best. Usually the NPCs will get annoyed after a while my undivided attention. and tell you to piss off, basically. Tell me what you need, the my fact friend. that these guys don't do that makes them even more you suspicious. Honor me with your attention. Wow, okay then. I, I don't trust them at all. Let's say that. How may I assist? What is the bazaar? Here we have some of the more exotic offerings you may seek. My colleagues and I specialize in sourcing exotic beasts and stabling them. You'll also find that we have access to what you know as Void Storage, as well as the ability to use your transmogrification magics. Well, that's kind of sad, so the Ethereals aren't doing that for us anymore. That's a little bit weird. This realm offers infinite opportunities. Hmm. So it seems. The purpose brought you to her. The sky above the citadel shattered. The spire of an immense tower appeared beyond the veil. If the Moor's influence bleeds into your realm, the balance between life and death will be broken. Hmm. All you hold dear will be consumed in darkness. Excellent. So I guess we walked in on Bolvar explaining how we got here, what happened, and how Sylvanas shattered the veil between realities. We hope that you're comfortable here. Consider these ancient facilities to be at your disposal. Trust the purpose. We all have a duty to fulfill.
fulfilled. As I sat upon the thros frozen throne, all those years, Liren, I could peer into the Shadowlands, brief glimpses, clouded and uncertain, sights both wondrous and terrible. We must work together to make sense of what has happened, to prevent the Maw from consuming all of reality. Whatever Sylvanas and the Jailer want, we must stop them, but we cannot do so alone. Perhaps Tal and Nara can put us on the path to find answers. Much has been asked. More will be required. Hear the words of the Arbiter. Can you help us find answers? Tell me, how did these allies from your world become trapped in the Maw? Well, it's a long story, but they were kidnapped. Sylvanas Windrunner sent her agents to abduct them. Oh, well, Bolvar's got it. Winged beings who caught them in chains and dragged them through the shattered sky. <clears throat> Excuse me. The winged Kyrian of Bastion ferries souls from the mortal realm into the Shadowlands, but not with chains. Hmm. And they are noble, untainted by the Maw. True. But it would seem this is the only clue our mortal friend has to follow. It falls to us to open the way for them. Overseer Karsher, take this mortal to the Ring of Transference. Use our anima reserves to open a pathway to Bastion. But honored voice, we have so little anima in our reserves. Surely we should be more... See it done, Kasher. With her voice have I spoken. So whatever these guys are, the honored voice outranks them. What do you seek, mortal? Come, mortal. I will show you the way. Are we RP walking? Okay, we can do that if we have to. This teleporter will convey you to the Ring of Transference. Okay, sure. So this is the upper level then. You are welcome in Oribos. The path to Bastion. Within the Arbiter's Chamber are gateways to the infinite realms of the Shadowlands. As each soul was judged, a gateway would be open to the appropriate afterlife. But since the incident, all gateways have remained closed, dormant. We dare not use the Arbiter's sacred chamber for so mundane a purpose as travel. But here in the upper ring of the city, gateways can be configured for your needs. Before us stands the means to activate a gateway. Together we can channel the anima to power it. The Eternal City. We have precious little anima to spare. But the Honored Voice has blessed your mission, so we will use what we have. Trust. We will call down one of the Soul Conduits for use as a gateway to Bastion. These paths have been dormant for some time. Your arrival will be... Unexpected. Welcome, Kasher. Is it true? Are we to open the gate again? Yeah, apparently we're opening the gate. Followed. 
How may I serve? Seek the Ascended. When you arrive in Bastion, seek out one of the Kyrian. Explain that you require an audience with the Archon. Like the Arbiter, she is one of the Eternal Ones who rule over the Shadowlands. If anyone can guide you in the truth, it is the Archon. Perhaps she will even know of a way to end this anima drought. Once you find the answers you seek, you are welcome to return to Oribos. May the purpose guide you. Let's go. The in between, otherwise known as a loading screen. Wow, look at this place. The Archon! The way is open? And who are you? Clea? Allow me to show you the way. Welcome to Eternity. Forgive my reaction. You see, the way from Ouroboros has been closed for quite some time. We did not know if it would ever open again. I welcome you, noble soul, to Bastion. Your deeds in life have earned you a most glorious fate. You are to become a Kyrian, a winged bearer of the dead. My name is Clea. It would be an honor to introduce you to our beautiful realm. There is much you must learn before your journey can begin. Gather yourself. When you are ready, we will venture on. Whatever the challenge, we shall rise to it. I think we're ready. Keep a calm mind. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Bastion. Though... You are like no soul I have ever seen before. No matter. You are to become one of the Kyrian. It is our sacred charge to bring mortal souls before the Arbiter for judgment. It has been an age since we last welcomed a new arrival. The Greeter will tell you more as soon as we awaken it. The greeter will soon answer all of your questions. That is its purpose, after all. Clea smiles at you. I hope you are excited. I certainly am. Ah, yes, the greeter. It seems this menace... Nemes? The M is probably silent. It seems this Nemes unit has been deactivated. Anna has, anima has been so scarce of late, and with no new souls entering our gates, I suppose it was a prudent measure. Anima is our most precious resource, after all. There are some centurions nearby. A portion of their anima could serve our needs. Ah, one of our most helpful stewards is here to lend her aid. She will guide you in the collection efforts. Return when you have sufficient anima and we will power the greeter once more. Sika, can we spare any anima for the greeter? Yes, take my barrel. Centurions will share. All right, so an armored owlkin, Sika. Hold tight now. No anima must fall. Okay, and we just go collect it from the centurions. My anima for Bastion. Have a 
enough. We wake Greeter now. Anima reserves now nominal. Initializing. Welcome back. A fate most noble. Welcome, worthy one. I am Greeter Nemes. It is my duty and pleasure to assist you on this, your first day among the Kyrian. Allow me to congratulate you. Your fate is reserved for the most noble of souls. Only those who live the life of service may call Bastion home. I am certain you have many questions. All new aspirants do. Please allow me the honor of introducing you to the next chapter of your existence. We will begin when you are ready. I think there might have been a mistake. We understand that the end of a mortal's existence can feel abrupt and that and is sometimes difficult to accept. You are not the first, nor will you be the last, to question the nature of your new existence. Please take this opportunity to process these facts and find acceptance. When you have done so, we will continue your orientation. But we're not dead. I do not understand. From which world, system, entity, realm, or form of existence do you originate? We come from Azeroth. Greetings, denizen of Azeroth. We have prepared a number of activities to help you acclimate to your new existence. Please visit each station to learn more. Does it involve doing kill quest and picking stuff up off the ground? I will meet you there. Because that's what we're used to in our existence, so I hope it's something to do with killing stuff or picking stuff up off the ground. Let's take a look. And we can mount up here. Please All add your name to the list of noble previous souls. Life will be collected and stored. The archives compile the histories of countless mortal worlds as seen through the eyes of aspirants like yourself. The Vespers of Bastion are no ordinary instruments. Their voices bolster the spirit and draw forth the lingering burdens of one's former life. Welcome, new aspirants, to the first step in your journey through Bastion. While you venture among us, we will teach you the virtues of purity, courage, humility, wisdom, and loyalty. You will cleanse yourself of your mortal flaws and ascend to a higher state of being, capable of performing our most sacred and difficult task. We have much to teach you, but have no fear. Your journey is your own, and you may walk the path at your own pace. Good to know. It seems very much like the pace is being set for us right now, but I'm sure that will change a little bit. Step into the pool, friend. Passing through the veil can be traumatic. Allow us to cleanse the pain of that ordeal. Uh-oh. I'm getting, like... King Kingdom Hearts flashbacks. Are we going to have to fight these what things? What is that? It looks like a Kyrian, but it is twisted. Yeah, we're going to have to fight something. Tariesh? Or How not. strange. Carry on with your learning. Mm. I will meet you near the greeter. Clearly she's troubled at whatever just happened. I would want that to be a little bit more pronounced. It happened so quickly we were barely able to see what was going on. We spawned little shadow things. Reminiscent of the shadow creatures in Kingdom Hearts. And then we spawned an elite called Teriash, who seemed to be a dark Valkyrie, or in this case, a dark Kyrian. And she's obviously disturbed. I hope that was informative and relaxing. Well, all except for the last part. Trouble in Paradise. I have given your presence here some thought, Lyran. It is clear to me that you are no ordinary arrival to or from Oribos. I do not know why you are here, nor what you hope to achieve. That alone is simply unprecedented. You must understand, individuals do not merely come to Bastion on a whim. 
This fate is earned, and those that are chosen for it are uniquely suited to this existence. So, I ask you, why are you here, truly? Tell Clea what you saw in the mall. Kelia? I'd love to get a proper pronunciation from her. I was hoping one of the characters would say it out loud, but they didn't. Sh should it be Kelia or Clea? Kyrian? In service of the Ma? That cannot be. What is the meaning of this? They must have sensed that I enabled the greeter. I will handle this, mortal. Somebody's in trouble. Why is this Nemesis unit active? We can ill afford this anima expenditure. Goodbye. Jeez. Ascended one, this newcomer brings troubling news of Kyrian in the Maw. We must inform the Archon. A grim fate. But if the Arbiter judge them deserving of it, then the matter is not our concern. These were not prisoners, but willing servants. Surely this merits an audience. There is but one way to earn an audience with the Archon. To walk the path and prove worthy of ascension. That sounds like it might take some questing to do. Yes, mortal. Calithene peers down at you. We have heard you, mortal. If you wish to stand before the Archon, there is a path you must walk. Thankfully, it is well-worn and serviceable even in these dire times. Though you are not destined to become Kyrian, our ways may be of interest to you. Learn well, learn fast, and perhaps the Archon will take notice and grant you this audience you seek. Aspirant Kilia will show you the way. Archon's eyes upon you. You know the path better than most, Aspirant. Archon's eyes upon you. What is on your mind? Archon's eyes upon you. It's supposed to be like a pleasantry, like Follow have a nice path. day or fond As farewell. We have... <sighs> but it sounds kind of dire. Be on our way. Sounds kind of dire. Archon's eyes upon you. Okay the future then. Of Bastion is in our hands. Oh, she's just running with us now. Okay, so we are going to mount up and try to find a way out of this canyon. Can we simply go around this? Yes, we can. I had nearly passed my final trial when the drought began. Mm. None have ascended since. Our realm must appear pristine to you. Words cannot express what was lost. Wait, let me show you. See Bastion through Kelia's eyes. We are in the midst of an unspeakable tragedy. Come. We will seek out my soulbind, Pelagos, at Aspirin's rest. So this is what she sees? You are a sign of the winds of change. Wait, what happened? Is that fine? That's all that we needed to do? We just needed to see what she saw and then we just walk away? Okay. I, I'm not really sure what the point of that was. I mean, maybe we should have another look. So we got to see a bunch of spirits, seemingly. I guess, is this... Is this anima bleeding away from the realm? Is that what we're seeing? It's kind of hard to tell, but it may be that. I'd love to hear what you guys think. We have arrived. Pelagos will be eager to meet you.
Clea! Thank the Archon. Pelagos began the ritual without you. What? That fool. We have little time. Someone started a ritual without you? I guess that sounds bad. Your journey is just beginning. I hope you can help us, and I hope we can help you. A soulbind in need. Pelagos is my soulbind. He is my brother, my closest friend, my mentor, and my student. He knows me completely, and I him. It is a bond stronger than any other. That he now struggles is a torment to me, but I am forbidden from intervening. An aspirant must succeed or fail on their own merits, or the trial is forfeit. I am bound by this law, but you are not. Please bring Pelagos back to me. This will not be his last trial. Not when he may finally have a chance. Ooh, we can get an upgrade green item. The things that haunt us. As you will soon learn, a ritual cleansing can be a painful process. In most cases, the upwelling of emotion is harmless. It can even generate anima under the right circumstances. However, sometimes the result is far less pleasant. Negative memories can take on a form of their own and manifest in violent fashion. I fear Pelagos' attempt at cleansing has brought forth such monsters. You must destroy them, and quickly. Pelagos may soon succumb to doubt and fear. Here we go. Make haste. Alright, we'll stop talking and we will make haste. We have to fight these. They're not aggressive. That's a little strange. So these are things that are spawned from Pelagos, from his torment, or whatever he's going through has, has spawned these bitter memories, clinging memory. Did I fail? Oops. Still getting used to my new keybinds. What was that blue arrow pointing us towards? That was a little weird. Let's track this one. I will never ascend! So they're all speaking his doubts and speaking his regrets, etc. That was a little weird, whatever happened there. Something pushed us up, like a jet, a jet of energy or air or something pushed us upwards. We'll have to check that out in a second here. What was that? Uh, yeah, I guess they just, they just don't want us falling in that hole. Uh, some kind of fount of energy, maybe. Excruciating memory. Uh, uh, help! 
me. Oh, there's Pelagos. You are weak. Ascension will never be yours. <sighs> I am weak. I will fail. Uh, so if we don't interrupt that one, we get feared. Your failure is a stain on your soul. No, no, I must not give in. Huh, that was too close for comfort. Thank you. I feel much better now. Oh, okay. Yeah, just run off. It's fine. At least he said thanks before he disappeared into thin air. I wonder what repercussions there will be for him since no one was supposed to interfere. It really seemed like either you can do it or you can't kind of deal. But now that he succeeded because of us, what does that mean for him? And what would have happened to him had he failed? Would he have faced some kind of final death here in the Shadowlands? Or would he just have to do another trial again some other time? That was reckless, Pelagos. You would have fallen if not for that mortal. Oh, he would have fallen. I thought I could succeed on my own, hmm. but not I sure. was wrong. The context of that. All right. Let's start with you. Pretty sure these are just going to be better all around and we're going to equip anything that we get. So we're probably going to look a little silly for a while. Like I said. The things that bind us can be violent and the insight we gain is no reason to let them run rampant. I have given Calathene's words some thought. If you are to learn our ways, we should proceed as if you were an aspirant yourself. The next step is to journey through the Aspirant's Crucible. It is a place of reflection, training, and cleansing. For an aspirant, it is where they prepare for the journey ahead. For you, I hope you will learn how you might help us in this time of crisis. Word of your arrival has likely spread. We will not keep them waiting. Take my steed and go in service. Go on ahead. Pelagos and I will make our way over on foot. Uh, must we walk? I am fairly fatigued after my trial. Consider it part of your training, my friend. Okay, that seems to be all they have to say. Now, from what I understand, anything that's a quest like this without that main shield around it is going to be a side quest. And I, I don't know how we should approach things, if maybe we should just do everything that there is to do, including the side quest. Well, it can't hurt to check them out. The old ways. There you are. Might I ask your help? I must confess, with the lack of new souls arriving, our supplies have dwindled. We lack the means to clothe the rivals in proper Kyrian attire. Before the forging of the Centurions, Aspirants trained against the native wildlife. Perhaps there is another way these beasts can prove useful. If you collect materials from the Cloud Striders and Larians nearby, we can use them to ensure our new arrivals look the part. Oh, and some thread from Marine, if you would. Oh, we can get gear from this, so... Yeah, I mean... Let's do it. And then we need thread, which we can buy from the innkeeper. Should we set our home here for now? Click the lore book for the story so far. Oh, what is this? Okay, so it's going to track the main parts of the story. So even if you weren't reading all the quests as you go, you could check this out and kind of get caught up on the story so far. 
As you arrived in Bastion, you met Kelia, who helped you make con contact with the Ascended Calistine in order to gain an audience with the Archon. You were instructed to follow the path of the Kyrian as if you were an aspirant. After saving Kelia's soul by in Pelagos from a meditation gone awry, you made your way to the as to Aspirant's Crucible. Very cool. I like that a lot. That's a great way for people who don't want to read the quest all the way through, especially the first time when they're trying to power level, to be able to get caught up on the story as it stands. Let's knock out this side quest here uh, and take a look at some of these guys before we jump on the mountain and just ride away into the sunset, shall we? I just want to take a really close look at all the new models that are in Shadowlands. Uh, that's why I really want to play on a melee while we're leveling, just so we can really get a close look uh, at everything. Ooh, the colors just changed. Like, what happened? Did something get in front of the sun, or... Oh, that's really weird. Maybe that's something that just happens occasionally throughout the zone, is that the, the coloration, well, the filter almost changed. Very, very interesting. 